this is future Chelsea just coming on here a second. I've actually given away a few little things or videos to come over the next couple of days just because I was going to be posting this video on a Sunday and I figured I may as well just upload it today. Sunday is going to be the last day of the Kickstarter so if you haven't already gone and pre-ordered your pin you still have a few days left to do that. I'm almost literally almost at unlocking the fifth and final pin just a few more backers coming over there and we'll have it unlocked so i just wanted to come on and say that thank you so 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 much to all of the backers so far i'm so grateful you have no idea but yeah thanks so much and i'm just gonna get straight on into studio vlog number 15. So I finished up the studio vlog, edited it all up, got it uploaded, I finished off all of my orders, packed them up, went to the post office. I popped on because I wanted to show you what I'm up to. I'm probably going to finish this off tomorrow, make it into a video and upload it before the weekend because um, I'm wild like that and I like to, you know, get videos up ASAP and you'll probably see this before you see this video anyway, but yeah. I thought we'll just hop on. Hello, um, I look an absolute mess, like... My eyes are so tired. Here is the state of my desk. Someone left a comment on my video the other day saying you need to Google housekeeping. Thought it was hilarious because I am the messiest person ever. But yeah, I made these little tiny clay pieces, which are gonna be strawberries. Look at those. I have had this in mind for a while and I thought I'd just make it into a sculpture tonight, just have a bit of fun rather than digitally draw because I get the most out of like doing, I saw a little bit zoomed in. No, the camera's just a little bit too close. It's like, feel the most creative when I actually make things rather than draw them because I like drawing, I like doing digital art, that sort of stuff, but something about making a piece first of all brings me the most joy. So I like to make it first and then make the other bits after, like illustrations and stuff if I like it. So yeah, this is how the sculpture's coming out. So fancy cake with like a pig lying on top. Obviously it's gonna be pig because she is the best. I'm thinking maybe make this like pastel blue or like a minty color or maybe even just a pink with like white icing on. Might stick some pearls on there. I know, it needs to dry fully overnight. So I've just dried like the basis of it so I could carry on sculpting a little bit. This is all like tin foil and stuff all inside. So it's only like really the outer layer that is clay. <laughs> I know I seem really weird, but I think this is going to be really cute and it's just going to sit on my desk. I'm going to go do a bit more on pig and um, yeah, I'll catch you in the morning and see how it turns out. Because I'm very excited to get cracking on with this. So cute. Oh my goodness, maybe it's like the cake from Harry Potter. This looks like a bit of a close-up angle, I am aware. Hello, I just thought I'd pop onto the studio vlog and show you the finished cake because I finished painting it. I know, I ended up painting and finishing this off yesterday. I've just sat here now on my laptop, um, editing the video. I love it. I love doing sculptures like this, honestly. Like, oh, this is just exactly what it looked like in my head. And it's hard to explain what things look like in your head because also I suck at digitally drawing at the moment. I'm still trying to get better at it. Like, I'm not nowhere near as where I want to be. I don't really know what the style is in my head that I want to portray, but it's, it's not what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I've also just having a little sketch sketches with pig wearing this little vintage sweater i also then came up with this little bear guy so big bear on a skateboard because i had the song um a skater boy in my head by avril lavigne it was on the radio and i was like oh my god he could be a skater bear so that's what came up in my head a minute ago and yeah 
this this book, by the way, is so cute. It's one of my um, Sumika Grashi books. I wasn't intended to sit here and film for a while, so sorry, still got a close up. Um, but it's like the tapioca park. Um, one sec, can you see? It's got like all these like holographic bits on as well. I bought this from like, an Instagram shop or something, and I also have a Sumika Grashi gel pen. Love these. But yeah, I really like sketching with them, just like really quickly as I'm doing little edits. But yeah, that's what I'm doing, and I'm gonna go back to it because I'm pretty much procrastinating, but I wanna get this video up tonight, so off I go. So my video is now all uploaded. It's just scheduled in to go live at night at 8 p.m. It's now around about 3.30. And yeah, I think I'm gonna take the rest of the evening off to be honest, like, don't know. Probably come back in and do something, maybe a bit of sketching, maybe a bit of drawing, but nothing YouTube related, I don't think, just because I'm feeling a little bit tired after this week. It's been a long week. And um, I'm probably gonna work all day tomorrow on YouTube, so. Yeah, I might take the evening off. Might go to the store in a minute and get some chocolate. Feeling like a good dairy milk bar. Um, but yeah, I just had labels arrive. Literally just came in the post. Roman went crazy at the postman. Um, but these are the ones that I used. Eight labels per sheet. And they're by the brand Blue Star. You can get them on their store. I think they're about four pounds maybe for like this whole box. You have to pay shipping and stuff. Um, but if you buy a couple boxes at a time, it really does like become quite cost effective. Um, but I've just bought the one because to be honest, I'm running out of storage space at the moment. And whilst my other store is still shut, I don't need that many in. So yeah, I just picked up these. But I've been using these now for probably four or five years. Yeah. A long time and i really really like them get along with them well get along with the eight per sheet kind of thing got to put them in my paper drawer and um that's it for tonight oh so, me again i feel like i keep saying hello i just sat here now and i'm going to be doing my nails because i've got a new nail polish um i bit all of my nails off um through a gorgeous bout of anxiety that happened today <laughs> love that because basically like yesterday and today i've been really feeling the pressure because in the uk all the shops have reopened and like pub gardens have reopened and there's like been other openings today but like today is like a really big like reopening of like normal life kind of thing and i feel so much pressure like it's really hard to kind of explain but like i'm seeing everyone like going to the shops arranging with their friends and stuff and i just feel a little bit like oh my god i should be doing those things not that i was doing those things in the first place maybe it's i've spent too much time on social media maybe i need to delete instagram for a week or something but yeah i thought i'd just sit down and do my nails sort that out edit up a video that i filmed so over the weekend i actually made this little juice box plush look at this isn't it so so cute now i did actually want to make like four or five different kind of like flavors maybe even like a milk one something like that because obviously you can get like a little milk carton um but i haven't got around to doing that either so i've made that one um yeah I've made, I've made one at least. I filmed it. I've edited it now. So I've been sat down editing that. And I figured I needed to pop onto the studio vlog as well because I haven't been here since Friday. Um, but yeah, this is the nail polish that just arrived. It's a blue sky gel polish. I use whatever I can get hold of really. But this one here is the purple. Really nice like lilac -y purple kind of shade. And it's called Universal Truth. Don't usually have purple on my nails. But was kind of inspired by the purple on that little plush that I used. So yeah, I picked that up. And I thought it'd be really nice. So I'm just rounding off my nails and filing off 
like the bits of nail polish that are still on there. Um, and I'm going to have to build my nails back up with a builder gel, which is going to be fun. Because I bit them all off. I bit them all off, which is really annoying. I also had um, a den jacket arrive. This one here. It's in an extra large. I love a big, giant, like, oversized jacket. It's absolutely massive. Um, it's by... What brand is it? Wrangler. I got it from a shop called Frock and Roll Vintage. Um, just because I love a good vintage um, denim jacket. Unfortunately, though, it came a bit darker than I expected and, like, in the photos. Like, I kind of typically, like, if you see the colour of my jean here, this is usually the darkest shade of denim that I'll usually wear, unless it's black. Um, so I think I might do, like, a little kind of, what would you call it, an upcycle of that? Call an upcycle, but like just like maybe give it a little bleach, lighten it up, maybe paint a few little bits on it. I think that'd be fun. I might even film it for a video. You never know, it might become a DIY video. So I'm going to leave this vlog here just because um, I don't want it to be too long. I'm actually going to be trying to make my videos under 15 minutes long, somewhere between 10 to 15 minutes and see how that goes. I really like quick and snappy vlogs recently, so I've hopefully done a good job at editing this one. Thank you so much for joining me today. I now am actually going to go and sort out packaging that's just arrived. So my brown box has arrived. I spoke about it in a few vlogs ago, but yeah, I packed up a few of the orders today and then it's just in the brown box with the pink mail over the top absolutely loving that combination now actually watching paloma's spanish vlog loving that i don't speak a word of spanish but yeah just gotta watch that whilst i sort out the packaging in here the kickstarter is still on going it's ending on sunday i'm going to put this video up probably today just because i want to get it out before you know sunday i am going to try to go forward and doing um diys on friday and in studio vlogs on sunday as a bit of a routine maybe with an odd upload every now and again when i have a video ready like today so yeah hopefully you will see another studio vlog on sunday as well which is going to be the very last day of the kickstarter so thank you so much for joining me today if you would like to give this video a thumbs up before you leave i would be much appreciated and i'll see you very soon for another video